today is the day. The polls open for early voting in just a few hours, but aside from those elected positions, voters also say they are amending our state constitution. News Channel 5's Colt Johnson joining us live from the county clerk's office this morning. So Colt, if you can walk us through those four amendments up for a vote. Good morning, guys. Well, for starters, if you haven't voted on a constitutional amendment, these are going to be yes or no questions. And so if you vote yes, that would be for amending the Constitution. If you go with no, that would be for leaving it as it is. And if you take a look at your screen now, you're going to see what we're dealing with in terms of these amendments. So on the ballot, one is dealing with the right to work. One is dealing with the power of the gover governor. Another is prohibiting slavery and one related to a current rule that doesn't allow priests or ministers to hold office. And we have summaries of those That'll be posted on newschannel5.com a little later on this morning. But early voting in Davidson County will only be at the Howard office building until next Monday, and then all early voting locations will be opening. Remember, also on the ballot is the governor's race, as well as spots in the Tennessee legislature and at the House uh, in, in D.C. And if you're going to vote, you'll want to remember to bring your state ID or your driver's license. And the polls are going to be opening here at 8 o'clock this morning if you would like to vote. Reporting live near downtown Nashville, Cole Johnson, News Channel 5.